Special thanks to industry leaders, Parts Canada, and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Metzler ME880 Marathon. Dealey Harley Davidson Canada. This week on Biker TV, we're in Mission Raceway Park for kick butt motorcycle drag races. But first, Biker TV Tech Tips with Wally. Let's get this show on the road. Welcome to Biker TV Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about rear belt drives. We have a synchronous belt that first came out on the 1980 Sturgis. It's been with us ever since and it's been a very good design. Let's have a closer look at it. Materials that they've used to construct this belt are fiberglass, uh, Kevlar and carbon fiber. Stronger than steel so they withstand uh, the torque and the horsepower and the shock loads that are put onto the rear belt which can be fairly severe uh, depending on what the rider's doing. Big Twins uh, will use, have used uh, what's referred to as an S-wound belt, and that's uh, the way that the cords are wound across the belt as they go around the belt. And what that actually does, it, it uh, under load, when the cords try and unwind, it moves the belt over to the side of the pulley away from the rear wheel, so it's uh, away from the wheel. Let's have a look at uh, some of the Kevlar cords that this belt is actually constructed of. I have a belt here that uh, I've cut so we can have a close look at them and you'll be able to see the little Kevlar cords. They're about the size of a, of a pencil lead uh, that run around the belt. It's, uh, I actually saw at, at a show one time where they actually had a, a Harley Ultra suspended by one single strand of these little Kevlar belts which are like I said again about the size of a pencil lead. So that give you an idea of how strong they are. I've got here a belt that we've taken off a bike. This is a, you know, it's a worn out belt. It's a used belt. It's, it's not gonna go back on a bike. So you definitely wouldn't wanna do this with a new bike or with a new belt. Uh, if you take it and you, you know, you, you twist it up like this and it, basically in a smaller diameter than what it would fit on your, on your pulley, you're gonna do some damage. You know, like I said earlier, uh, carbon fiber is extremely strong, but it can't take bending. It's kind of like a glass tube, it'll, it'll break. So you twist it inside out, you have a look at it, I've just destroyed the belt. Uh, you go to the shop, to a dealership, and you buy a belt, you decide you're gonna replace it yourself, so you wrap it all up nice and tight, and so it'll fit in your saddlebag, and you tie it up with maybe a bungee cord, and you throw it in your saddlebag. This, be this belt will fail, perhaps as early as, as soon as you install it, when you throw it into first gear for the first time, you can break the belt right there. Proper tension will um, lead to long belt life. People can get you know, up to 100,000 miles out of a belt. If, uh, if you're not using the proper tools though and if you're just going by feel, what we found happens is normally the belt is, is under tensioned or, or a little bit too loose. And what happens then is it'll, it'll, it'll actually ratchet on the sprocket, uh, which will cause the, either the teeth to break off. That's one thing that can happen. Uh, another thing that can happen is as it ratchets, um, it'll actually have a quick bend to it. And if there's one thing that the, the Kevlar can't take, it can't take a bend. It's, it's almost like glass. If you just put your bike in neutral and, and just kind of roll, roll your bike or have your wheel up so you can just roll the belt, and just kind of feel on the outside of your belt. And if there's a rock, it's gonna be protruding from the inside and it's gonna build like a little volcano or a little mountain on the outside of, your, of the belt that you can actually feel. Now, if you find the rock and it's, it's near the edge of your belt, you probably should replace the belt because that's a critical spot and your belt is it, it's going to fail. If the, if the rock would be more in, centered in your belt and uh, not gigantic, you can probably get away with uh, taking something and actually just from the outside pushing that rock out of your belt so it's not in there anymore if it is still there. And you're probably okay to keep using your belt but just keep, uh, you know, keep monitoring it to make sure that things are okay. Now they make the pulleys out of aluminum to keep the weight down and whatnot, but aluminum being a fairly soft material that would wear out fairly quickly with the belt, uh, what they do is they chrome plate the actual, this part of the pulley, 
and that uh, makes the pulley last a whole lot longer. Once the pulley wears, uh, that's something you really want to have a look at, is if the chrome plating is gone. Now on, on, the, on the belt on the right, I can take just the screwdriver and I can scratch it. And if you can get in there down in the root of the, of the, of the teeth, which is down in the bottom part here, and if you can just take it and you can scratch it like that, uh, there's no chrome plating there. That, that, this pulley is, uh, is due for replacement. If you replaced your belt without replacing this, you're, you'd be replacing a belt uh, shortly down the road again. After the break, CMDRA drag racing action in Mission, B.C. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and Metric. Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website. Shop by phone or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Welding techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Closed captioning by Hogtunes. Audio solutions for the great American cruiser. Yeah, my name's Don Fergan. I'm part of the Max Motorsports Universal Cycle Dragon Jeans Drag Bike Team. And we're here to welcome you to Biker TV. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun this weekend. Uh, going to show you a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of different kinds of bikes. And we're going to make some great runs and have a really good time. three bike team here. Uh, we have a couple of super bikes. Um, one of them is based off of Suzuki uh, GS1000 with a GS1100 motor. Uh, it runs low 10 second quarter miles at about 130 miles an hour and we're hoping for some uh, very low runs this morning. Uh, the air is real good. The second bike we run is basically a home built um, chassis uh, from the Harry Kopajewski and um, it's all uh, fabricated by hand and uh, it runs a GS1150 motor and it'll be in the low nine second bracket. Uh, the third bike that we're running is new for us this year. It's a uh, turbocharged Kawasaki uh, based off of a J motor. It's 1260 cc's. Uh, we just had on the dyno, it makes about 265 horse at the rear wheel and 160 foot, foot pounds of torque. Uh, and it's uh, got a turbocharger on it. We're in about 30 pounds of boost. Uh, the bike is fairly heavy. Uh, tipping the scales at about 700 pounds. 
Uh, we're hoping for it to maybe poke it into the seven second bracket this weekend at about 170 miles an hour. What makes a grown man want to go 170 miles an hour on a bike? Uh, I'm not sure how to answer that, actually. <laughs> We're not growing men is the problem. There's your, there's your answer. It's the kid in us that wants to go faster and faster and have a little fun. Terry Brown here, the current Super Gas Champion in the CMDRA, and we were lucky enough to win the Modified Championship last year too. And we're going to try and do it again this year. So we're, they're nipping at my heels, but I think we got something for them. Now tell us a little bit about the new ride. Well, it's a, it's a kid's day. I call them kids because everybody's a kid now. Uh, they down in Oregon painted it for me. We did. Uh, we did some fire at first, then they put the shrapnel racing on the side, and then they put the bullet on the top. So it's, uh, I, got, I don't know how I got the nickname Bullet Head, but I did, so that's how that happened. This is Greg Wessling. Uh, he's uh, from Lethbridge, again, my teammate, uh, and we've been uh, doing this for quite a long time. Now, I do the tech inspections for the CMDRA, and Greg runs the race school and also helps me out with tech. We're actually one big family. We, uh, you know, the whole group of us here in CMDRA, uh, that's Canadian Motorcycle Drag Racing Association. Uh, we have a lot of competitors that uh, all across Canada, uh, a lot of competitors in Western Canada, and we all get together to have a good time. After the break, CMDRA drag racing action in Mission, B.C. Choose one of our existing audio kits or design your own. Hogtunes, audio solutions for the great American cruiser. Harley and Damien's the uh, the pilot and uh, Rob here is the crew chief and we're just trying to run some good numbers. How many times does a bike like this pull off? Uh, over 200 miles an hour and about six fours. So what have we got going on here? What are you up to? Uh, well just doing a pre-fire and a test. Um, had a little bit of electrical uh, gremlins last night, sorted all that out. Uh, put some new coils on it and uh, everything should be ready for when the sun comes out. So is this, you've got a check on your uh, race crew here? Well, Amanda's a licensed Harley-Davidson mechanic that works for, uh, for uh, Trev Dealey's and uh, has been working with us for the rest, for this season already. So 
good help, knows what she's doing. That deepened testosterone. Uh, yeah. How do you like uh, the drag stuff? Oh, I love it. I used to drag race myself, and I'm a mechanic, so I'm used to all that testosterone. I believe the fives are achievable goal uh, under all the right conditions. Uh, again, I'll speak on my own stuff. I believe ours is more structurally strong uh, and more reliable than some of these other pieces that are out there. So the next part on that, and I think I myself feel that the next step will be uh, a blower to get the to get a nitro Harley into the five seconds. actual bike bike type events street bike you know I think it was a rigid frame yeah it was a rigid frame at that time uh, shovel head and running uh, at Gimli Manitoba the old bloody uh, uh, airstrip out there and uh, I think I won that thing for the first time too so I think that probably hooked me up there when I was younger uh, car I used to race cars years ago too in a drag strip but, you know, I lost that interest pretty quick once I got involved with the bikes. So, uh, yeah, I probably, I've been racing bikes, street bikes first, then gas bike, drag bikes, and then once I got nitro, well, you're looking at big horsepower. A lot more fun, a lot more exciting, way more fun tuning and stuff like that. Best thing for me, accomplishment-wise, has been uh, well through the years of winning the Canadian Championship has been pretty, pretty good. Ten years in a row was, or eleven years in a row was pretty good accomplishment. But to win the U.S. Championship against all the Americans in Rockingham, North Carolina, with one event left in the season, was probably the best accomplishment I've made through all the years. To be able to do that, be the only non-American to do that with them guys being well funded and me just being a, a guy from Canada here. I thought that for me is a, a highlight in my life. future is a blower on our bike. We're working on that right now uh, just to, to go further and uh, trying to produce more interest in our sport through younger guys, get more guys into it. Uh, I'd like to get a good capable rider, younger guy that I could train to ride my own stuff here and uh, hope for the best of our sport. After the break, CMDRA drag racing action in Mission, B.C. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and Metric. Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website. Shop by phone or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans.
Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? Advanced Welding Techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Well, that first light for me was an 036, so that'll be already put me in the middle of the back. Usually we have a pretty uh, stout qualifying group. The guy I was running against ran an 020, so he will be qualified ahead of me. So we'll see how we got three more or two more rounds to go in qualifying, and then we'll shake it out and see where the ladder sits. A little more tire pressure and a little more launch RPM. It laid down a little bit on us on the hole. We're going to try and get it into 820 this time. This is a pro drag series, uh, nitro bike, it's carbureted and no pressure fuel, it's all done gravitationally. Um, but it is a, uh, a true nitro bike and uh, it's 122 inch um, nitro. It's got a custom cases and custom cylinders and of course the heads, you, you can do whatever you want to the heads to make them exotic. Uh, they're troublemakers, most of them people. <laughs> Yeah, no. This is a this is a group of guys and gals. We've been together right from the right, right from the start. A lot of us guys have all been together, uh, racing and wrenching for the last ten years as part of the CMDRA. So this is a big family here. We we treat this as part of our vacation time. Sunday morning in the rain, that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, welcome to uh, Biker TV and Mission Rainway. Uh, we're having a good time waiting and waiting and waiting. That's, I guess, what we do best. And hopefully it'll clear up here a little later on today and uh, we'll be able to get back to some action and drag racing. The uh, purveyor of the FFR race team, Nitro Pro Dragster Racer. We have experimented with carbureted uh, nitromethane for 15 or 16 years, did an awful lot of stuff. We've experimented a lot with forward, forward slant single carb stuff. Uh, we were instrumental in the design of a complete Derringer motor powertrain built purpose built for Pro Dragster uh, something that was uh, gonna make tuning these things a lot more livable
Uh, usually it's the, uh, the uh, boredom of just sitting here and waiting for them to call the race. So uh, everybody's kind of, you know, sitting on edge and waiting and waiting and waiting and until I finally have to make a decision and uh, it takes a couple hours of prep time so it uh, does take us a little while to uh, get on track and uh, we're just not going to have enough time to do anything. Is it going to discourage your passion for racing at all? No, nah, I've been down this road many, many times before. <laughs> Next week on Biker TV, Tech Tips with Wally and the Vintage Road Racing Association's Runway Romp in North Bay, Ontario. Special thanks to Biker Coffee, made by bikers for bikers. The Motorcycle Ride for Dad, fighting prostate cancer Canada-wide. Royal Distributing, check out the new store in Whitby, Ontario. Baby, she's in love with a man.